Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. For those of you on YouTube that have not seen us, we are located in Central Ohio and we specialize in schnoodles. This is Crystal's litter of kids. And there are 12 of these little stinkers. So they are all doing really, really well. I think we still have, uh, I think there's two puppies still available in this litter. Um, so if you're looking at the website, or if you have not been on our website, if you go to the website shown below the video on the YouTube, you will see our website address. So what we did this morning, um, we went ahead and I did weights and microchip numbers, and we're going to go through and I'll give you current weights of these guys and microchip numbers of them. So I'm going to have to hold this with one hand and try and keep them in the screen while I do this. So, 7480 is a female party. She weighs 3 pounds, 5.5, and she's a chocolate, um, chocolate and white party. The 7482 puppy, which is a male blue merle, is 4 pounds, 2.5. And they did put some collar colors on here for me. They did not put it on here for um, the first one. Um, it says she has no collar on, but I see a neon green collar on her over here. 7482 is the uh, puppy I just told you, which is 4.25. It has a royal blue collar. And we'll see if we can find collars in here too once I get done with these. 7485 is a black female with a light pink collar. Three pounds, 6.5. Uh, we have a 7483, which is a party merle and has the no collar. And I think she's down there. She's a blue merle. She's down there with the yellow toy on the left, I think it's her. We'll zoom in on these and find them. Uh, she is two pounds nine ounces 7488 is a male chocolate and he has a neon orange collar on and he is four pounds three ounces 7482 is a chocolate merle uh, with a neon pink collar weighs four pounds 8.5 7484 is a female black with a neon green collar looks like we got a tug of war going on and uh, 7481 is a chocolate party merle. And it's light blue collar with thir three pounds, 13.5. 7479 is a female chocolate. She has a yellow collar with circles on it. We'll find her. See where they've all escaped to. You can tell I can't do this and read at the same time. Three pounds, 11 ounces on the chocolate uh, female. 7489 is the chocolate... Uh, it's a Merle chocolate with a yellow collar, 3 pounds, 14.5. And 74.86 is a female chocolate with a purple collar. And then she is 3 pounds, 2 ounces. And the last one in here is 74.90, a male. It's a party um, with a red collar on, 3 pounds, 12 ounces. All right. So, we are going to um, find you collar colors. So, I know the little guy with the royal blue collar is the yin yang face. He is over here. And he's going, uh, when I changed his mind, he was going to go into the bed. And next to him is the light blue collar puppy, which is a chocolate party merle chewing on the yellow toy. Next to that is the puppy with the red collar. It's the black and white puppy with the red collar, and that puppy is available. The female with the purple collar is down there on the end. She's the dark chocolate. She has the purple collar. She's looking for a way out of my kennel. And we have, let me zoom up here without making you dizzy. There's a chocolate and white one right here, and I don't know that it has a collar on. I don't think so. So the chocolate and white puppy does not have a collar on, but I know it's sold, but I can't tell you what color it was supposed to have on. Uh, the yellow one with the circles, it's the chocolate puppy with the circles, is chewing on that brown toy, right, or that beige toy. 
And uh, the black with the light pink collar is right here underneath me. Turn that off a little bit so it makes it so it's not so faded out with her. Uh, the black with the neon green collar is right there. That's a great shot of that neon collar. She's chewing on leaves. Uh, the orange collared chocolate puppy is following the Merle party up there. There you go. There's that orange collar. He said, I'm going to pick on you right now. All right, let's see. Who else have I missed? Um, the neon pink chocolate Merle with the yellow toy is over there. And the other one is the yellow collar puppy right behind it. So that's the two chocolate merles out of this litter. So I think we've gotten everybody. Uh, the light blue collared merle is the white puppy up there and she has the light baby blue collar on. And I think we've got them all. I think we've got everybody in here actually. That's pretty good. So these guys are almost ready to go in for spay neuters. They're getting close. We have started taking them away from Crystal. Crystal has had it. She is to the point where when they come at her, she growls a little bit. So they've all been taken away from her, but I think four at this point. So we're leaving the littlest, the littlest ones in the litter with her till the very last thing. And then they'll go probably completely away from her by Sunday. So uh, we've actually split them up into different kennels because with this many, it's just crazy uh, to try and keep their pin clean, them clean, and everything else. So um, they're really, they're starting to experiment. Whoop, you saw that one take a head dive. Um, they've not had a, one of these raised beds to play on before. So they're learning how to get up, and they're not all good at it yet. And they're really not good at their dismount. So, if you watch this puppy on the dismount, it won't be pretty. I can almost guarantee you that something is, well, one of them is going to leap off and roll on their head. They always do. They've not learned to jump yet. And uh, this one, oh, there we go. See, this is, oh, there, that one did a little bit more of, uh, a little more coordination. Some of them just kind of plow right off of it. And these guys are going to have a tug of war. We looked for one of our ropes today to have a tug of war because we always like putting a rope out here because it ends up really cool with the long rope. I've seen eight to 10 puppies get on the end of a rope and everybody pull different directions and it's lots of fun to watch them. This one's carrying a huge branch across the ground. Whoops, crash and burn. I have sent out everybody's videos and everybody's new vet vitamin information. So, if you have not received that, please let me know, and I will be glad to resend it to you, but I've sent them all out, so you should have gotten an email with private videos from me, and those are what uh, it tells you everything I'm going to tell you when you come to pick up your puppy, but the nice thing with pre-telling you all this stuff is you can bring your questions with you that I did not answer. And for those of you that are getting your puppy shipped to you, if you have questions about these guys, please feel free to call me if I didn't answer everything you want to know on that email um, with the videos because I would be more than glad to chat with you about anything else I can help you with. The biggest thing I cannot express enough is you've got to be really tough with these guys for the first couple months. Whatever you don't want them to do as an adult, don't let them do it now. Uh, otherwise it becomes a lifelong habit and once it has become a ground and stone habit well, she says you're gonna pick on me and I'll come back and clean your clock uh, I love schnoodles they don't spat very long it's just like okay I'm over it and then they walk away but they love to pick on each other the more they get to play outside now that they're older and the more they learn about this bed, this becomes a great source of play for them. They'll crawl under it, then somebody on top will grab their tail since it's the last thing to go under the bed. And then they don't let go of it, and then it becomes a tug of war. And then it's just game on. Oh, he says, yep, that wasn't a very pretty dismount either. And he did really good the first time. So it's funny. They will learn to climb and jump, and it's just a riot to watch them on these beds when they're little. 
This brown one says, I'm going to run out there. Nope, he did a good dismount. They're all doing super good. Um, they're really, it's a nice group of babies. It really is. I, uh, I'm not sure if this will be our last group or not from them. Uh, we actually have a lady in Oregon that was interested possibly in both Gypsy and Crystal. So they will be my last two big dogs if I decide, and she decides, whoops, if she happens to decide to take them, this will be our last litter of schnoodles that will be this size. <clears throat> I've said for a long time I was going to slow down on the big ones and not do um, the large dogs anymore because it's so much work putting them up on the groom table, putting them in my, uh, my groom tub is about three and a half foot off the ground, almost four foot. So it's a job putting these 55, 60 pound standard poodles in my groom tub. But I don't know what the verdict will be, but if, it, if she does take them, this will be our last litter of puppies that will be out of our big standards. So what I'm gonna kind of center on from now on is my biggest dogs are gonna be 25 pounds and under. I think I've got a couple 27ers, but um, that's the max that I'm ever going to go again. So we're going to try and stay 25 and under. And no toys. Uh, just down to minis and uh, like a, a mid-size, I guess you'd call it, an 18 to 25. No more out of the big dogs. So, but if Crystal's still here in the spring, we will probably have another litter of snoodles out of her. We'll see. You never know. Well, I know I'll see very many of you soon. Uh, we probably will get maybe one more video on of this group before they leave. I am not doing any more photos. Uh, it's too hard to get them to sit on a table. So uh, what we'll do is probably just videos and uh, let you be able to watch everybody that way. It's so much, much easier on my nerves. <laughs> Trying to get this many puppies to sit on a table by the time we're done, I could like scream. So we'll see. Uh, it really just depends. I know it won't be this week if we try it. It's just the end of the week and it's just not enough days in our, hours in our day. So I hope you've enjoyed their video today. They're doing great. Call me if you have any questions. If you have not booked in for a pickup, please call me. We also are sending out your puppy packets this week. So you should get anybody that's shipping your puppy, you should get that in um, priority mail uh, sometime probably Monday or Tuesday at the latest. So hope you enjoyed the video. There still are a couple puppies in this litter available. So check out the website and we'll talk to you later.